Hey guys, Paige Sugar Butts here, and today I just wanted to do a fun little video. Um, I am going to be going to Comic Con in two days here, and I just kind of wanted to show off my cosplay and just all the different parts to like bring it all together. Um, this year I'm going a little more simple. Last year I was the Huntress from Dead by Daylight, and I like did everything myself. I put together the whole costume. This year, I'm going a little more simple. I bought most of the costume, but still, I wanted to show you all the parts. This year, I am Katana from Mortal Kombat, and I'm super hyped. I love Mortal Kombat, one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm super excited to be Katana. So yeah, I'll show you all the parts, and then I'll show you how the costume turned out at the end. So first of all, I have these boots that are just going to go underneath my costume. You don't really see them too much. They mostly get covered, but I love these boots, and they work really good for the cosplay. So yeah, very simple. Next, these are for the legs that are going to go over the boots. They don't look too crazy right now, but yeah, they're pretty cool. Again, just showing you all the parts, but these are the legs. Right here are the shorts, which like, oh my gosh, it's so long, which I mean, it's just like that in Mortal Kombat 11, which is what this one is based off of. I don't think I said that. This is Katana from Mortal Kombat 11, but yeah, it's very long. It's going to be brushing up against my legs the whole time, but it looks good, so it's it's worth it. Right here is the top. Very sexy, very comfortable, and yeah, love it. And then these are just the bands that go around her arms towards the top. And then these are the little sleeves that go towards the bottom. They're just like the leg ones, only of course smaller for the arms. And then we got the hair band for the top. And the mask, which I had to alter a little bit. Well, my boyfriend actually altered for me because it was a big mask and I have a very tiny face. So we actually sewed it up a little bit and you can barely tell in the front. So super happy with that. And yeah, it just fits my face a lot better. And lastly, I got these little leg things, which I'm going to be using for like regular outfits anyway, because they're super cute. But I kind of needed them just because on the leg part, um... This top part just wanted to keep falling down whenever I walk. And obviously at Comic-Con, we don't want that. So, sorry if you hear my dog eating. <laughs> but yeah, I got these little leg garners. Um, you won't be able to see the top part. Luckily, the shorts will cover it. I just have this little thing to kind of hold them up so it looks less weird. But yeah, that's that. So yeah, nothing too crazy this year. Like I said, most of it I pretty much bought. We made small alterations and I bought like extra things. Oh, which reminds me one more thing is I did buy two fans, which I can show off in a second. Yeah, I mean, you can't be Katana for Mortal Kombat without her fans. So I bought two of these fans. They actually get pretty big, but you'll see them in the pictures and the videos that I'll post and everything. But yeah that's the cosplay like i said it was pretty simple most of it i bought all together and it was pretty cheap like 60 dollars. so it's not like the perfect cosplay usually i like to go all out but i'm really happy with it i can't complain like i said i did the little things like buying the little leg straps and buying the fans and altering the mask a little bit but you know this year just went a little cheaper and gonna have some fun with it I love Katana, so it's still going to be awesome, and I think I'll pull it off, you know, I've, I don't know, I think I got this, <laughs> and maybe next year we'll do a crazier cosplay where I have to do, like, all of it again, but you know what, sometimes you don't have to do, like, big crazy cosplays, as long as you're having fun at Comic-Con, that's all that matters, and I know I will, so yeah, um, I guess next pretty much just how the cosplay turned out, but yeah, I'll say right here, thanks for watching.